Uh oh. That's gone. And now the Royals have the one run lead. I, I've never I've never seen this. I never have either. I don't know what I don't know what they're measuring. They might be going to call George Brett out. Well, he yeah, is. He's out. Yes, sir. Brett is out. Look at look at this. Brett is out. And he's steaming mad. He is out and having to be forcibly restrained. It didn't take long for the Cubs to pick up the pieces of this controversy and bring them to the Men in Blue. Billy Hatcher legged out his infield hit, but third baseman Keith Moreland handed the bat parts to home plate umpire Dana Demuth. He seemed to barely suppress a laugh because he had the ultimate smoking gun. Hatcher's explanation, it wasn't my bat. I'm telling you right straight up now that, you know, I had no idea that the bat was court. They're checking him all over. I've never seen him do a search like this. Oh, quite right. like this before. <laughs> and he's out of there. He's been kicked out of the game. What did they find in his pocket? I don't know. Now they're looking at the inside of the glove. You notice Dempsey had his hand in there, and Joe West kind of slapped it out, out of the way. And this comes with a count of three balls and two strikes. It's like well, a Norman Rockwell painting. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you know, it, as an umpire, you have to, number one, make a decision. That threw him out of the ballgame. Yeah, look at this. Can you believe this? But obviously, they've got the evidence because that's only a very mild protest from Tommy Lasorda. Watson scores 2 nothing Tribe. Then a little gamesmanship. Gene Lamont wants Albert Bell's bat check. Dave Phillips takes a whiff, and it smells like cork. That bat's going to the league office. Could it be? So Bell has to get another one. What would he do? High chopper Vince. Ah, it's not that useful without the alleged cork. Forces by air gets second. Bell. Standing in against Mike Hampton in the second. Spuds will get that one off his knuckles. He breaks his bat. So he asks the bat boy, I'm, I'm going to have to have a new piece of lumber. I'll take the one in the middle. With the new bat, Sabo. Well, snap my bat and call me Corky. A little pop up to short, but oh ho ho. Home plate umpire Tom Hallion, he finds the bat, gives it to Ed Montague, and we got issues. Here's another look at the pop up. Sabo, and I don't think that Shotzi hair flying out of there. You see cork everywhere. Sabo is ejected. Barrel Pinata bat. Oh, neat. Red Hot. One hopper to the shield. One hopper to the shields, but Wilton's, this is a bad sign here. He's more concerned with collecting the bat. He's not going to make it into one of those broken bat lamps. He knows there's a problem. So does Steve Ripley. So does Bruce Freming. And one quick look there, and you're gone. Anthony Guerrero, stunned in the dugout, says he's had that bat for three months. This was the first time he'd used it. Meanwhile, Larry Barnett goes out to talk to Moeller and watch the spot shadow. Barnett points to his thumb to tell D-Ray's manager, or Tiger's manager, Larry Parrish, he thinks Moeller has something on his thumb. Turns out to be sandpaper on Moeller's left thumb. So Parrish comes out to talk to Barnett. Moeller and the umps confer. The umpires inspect Moeller's glove. They don't find anything, so they give it back to him. And then Paris gets a final explanation of why Moeller was ejected. Notice Paris doesn't put much of a fight as Sean Runyon comes into pitch. Now it's been cut to 8-5. Byun Hung Kim. Something flies out of his sleeve. The ball flies past the catcher. It's a pass ball. Now 8-6. The Cubs trail. This will be a continuing story what that thing was. Buck Showalter comes out, discusses exactly what it was that flew out of Kim's jersey. Ed Montague walks away with the object. Looks like a hunk of brawny paper towel. 3 2. That's a ball up the middle. Runs going to score. Anderson to throw the first here. Tommy Aubrey Hunt runs it on. Gonzalez to third. Gives Sosa his 25th RBI and a broken back. The Cubs lead by one here in the first inning. Well, this isn't they're good. They're looking for a few more pieces of the lumber. No, they're looking to see what's in the bat. And they want to see if. What's in the bat is really the bat, or if there's anything in there that shouldn't be in there. Chip, the only time I've seen something in there is if the bat is corked. Now, 
as far as we know, they have just the handle of the bat. They don't have the barrel of the bat. So Frank Robinson has challenged Brendan Donnelly. And now they will check Donnelly's glove for an illegal substance. Yep, Frank Robinson, he was out there before Donnelly even came in. And he was talking to the whole plate umpire, and he says, Hey, look, ask some of your guys if you can't get together and go out there on the mound and just see Donnelly, see what he's got going. This is weak. Oh, they've got it. Yeah, Donnelly's been thrown out of the game. Mike Sosha just pointed to the bullpen, so the Angels have to get somebody ready. So they'll take his glove, and they'll take it back to the umpire's room, I'm sure, and uh, you know, send that to the league as evidence. Johnson came out and wanted to, uh, oh, they're going to examine his glove. How about that? They're going to look at his glove. So Dave Johnson knew something or thought he knew something. Kind of uh, substance it, it is. You know, Peralta in 2010, and I think they've... Uh, They've ejected Peralta. Now they're checking his back. And they're throwing him out of the game. He went to his neck and he said there's something on his neck, so Pineda is being tossed. This is a curious development here the home plate umpire is asking Jim Joyce something and Jim Joyce is directing his attention to Will Smith checking his glove and he's been thrown out Will Smith has been ejected a foreign substance on the glove and Jennings out there Asking Jordan Baker to go down and talk with the crew chief Paul Emmel about something. Oh boy. Is he calling out a substance on Brian Mattis's arm? Like we saw Will Smith thrown out for a couple of days ago in Milwaukee. Like we saw Michael Pineda suspended for last year in New York. Going to be an awkward conversation. He's been thrown out of the game. Brian Mattis becomes the second big league pitcher this week to get thrown out of a game for a foreign substance.